What's going on YouTube? It's Mad River Knife and we're back again and today what we're showing you is pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this because I think I might enjoy it more than you do. Zero Tolerance 300. This is one big bad mo. I tell you. Um, <laughs> I own the 301 awesome blade. I'm gonna basically hit this out of the park with you guys. There is nothing wrong with this blade in my opinion. We got the S30V steel here. Um, you guys should know by now that S30V is a top-notch steel. Awesome strength, edge retention. It's really stainless. It's not stain proof, but stains less. Um, rust resistant. High quality steel right there. You cannot go wrong with S30V. It's amazing steel, in my opinion. Um, we have the, uh, this is 3D machined G10 here, and it's awesome in your hand. Just the texturing, it makes it feel so great. It's not aggressive, but it's enough to prevent slippage and things. And then on the back, this is the titanium frame, and that's also 3D machined as well. We get into a little more of the construction on this knife. You notice the uh, oversized thumb stud here. It's uh, really beefy, and uh, it's also got a flipper. That's because this knife is a speed safe design, so it's assisted opening. It's not a switch blade or an automatic, it's assisted opening. So I don't want to hear anything about that. If you just look at the pivot screw on this knife, you can tell that it's heavy duty because that pivot screw is huge. If you look at other knives, um, like on my Tenacious here, if you look at the pivot screw on that compared to that, you know how heavy duty this knife is. It's a tank. And that's to say the least about it. Uh, we have, uh, you can got your four tip carry position, tip up, tip down on left and right side. The G10 um, scales here, like I already mentioned. It is a uh, torque construction, so everything's put together by removable um, fasteners. And then uh, you got some jimping down here, so if you need to choke down on it, you still got some grip down in your palm to get some traction there. And then back here <clears throat> on the thumb ramp, awesome jimping right there. That's amazing stuff. That is, uh, you're not slipping with that. And it's, it really grabs your thumb and it's not letting go. Uh, the pocket clip, very stout, very stout. And this cool piece right here, since this is a, a Ken Onion and Rick Hinderer, Rick Hinderer does, uh, a lot of high value and very expensive folding knives and uh, he's really famous for it but he invented this uh, frame stop lock and what that does it prevents the lock from over um, exerting itself and uh, traveling farther than it needs to and actually keep the uh, the lock lasting longer because you're not going to be wearing it out by bending it way out here and things. It's a really awesome design that they put on this knife. Super sweet and uh, that's definitely another thing that shows you how heavy duty this knife is. The speed safe again. You got your classic Ken Onion blade here with that big belly. Um, I know a lot of guys EDC this knife. I've done it quite a few times myself and uh, you really don't notice it. It's kind of heavy. Um, it comes in, oh, I think around 8 ounces, so it's a tank of a knife, but uh, you really don't notice it. At least I don't anyways. Maybe that's because you know, I'm more excited that I'm carrying it than the weight. I'm not paying attention to it, but that's just my personal opinion. I really don't notice it that much. It's not too thick. I mean, it's thick, but it's not too thick for my... For, I like big knives, so I'm biased. Um, you got your classic Kenyan blade design there. Overall, this knife is superb. You get a, uh, basically, designs like this from uh, customs like Hinderer and Strider and things, you're going to pay five or six hundred dollars for the knife. You don't have to do that with the zero tolerance. That's what I love about the line. It's affordable for a very high value blade. And uh, this is mainly going to be a tactical knife. But like I said, you could EDC it. No problem. With the belly here, if, uh, 
the way that the recurve is, if you would throw that down on someone and then pull that through, that's going to go straight to the bone on your slashing and things. Awesome knife. Uh, we'll get into the specs. The uh, blade length is three and three quarters, so it's not a huge blade, but it is big enough to do some damage. Trust me on that. And then I said it weighs eight ounces. And the coating on it is a tungsten coating. It, it doesn't really come off that easy, but it scratches and things, but it doesn't come off very easily like you would on some cold steel knives and things. Uh, this is top notch, high grade, high dollar knife. And it is a beast. I just can't say that enough. That this thing is a tank. I mean, it's basically a tactical knife that uh, is going to last you. And you're. Whatever you give it, this knife will put up with it, and it'll probably laugh in your face and say, bring me some more, which is awesome. I really like that. So basically, for, uh, for what you get for this knife and what you would compare it to, it's a very high-value knife, and definitely check it out if you're a collector or you like high-quality things. Check out the Zero Tolerance 300 line. This will be on our website in the link below. It will take you directly to uh, the web page. You can reach us at our website at MadRiverKnife.com if you have any questions as well. Um, always looking forward to hearing from you guys and what you got to say about the reviews because that's why I do it. It gets me going to do other things and I get excited with the interaction and stuff. If you guys have any questions or uh, re review review requests, let me know and I'll try to get them as soon as I can. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, stay tuned for more awesome reviews and we go through the summer together. I hope you guys enjoy it and have a great day.